Salamat po sa pagsuporta sa ating uh, live cooking session. And dito lang yan sa ating uh, YouTube channel. So clear po ba yung ating uh, uh, microphone? I'm not sure if uh, you can hear me well. So uh, ito, ito na. So kahapon nagluto tayo ng focaccia. So today I was thinking, ano bang uh, iluluto natin today? So uh, since ang dami-daming uh, natira na bread, okay? So ito medyo old bread na siya, di ba? Matigas. So uh, any kind of bread, um, tinatapo na lang after na, di ba, ilang days na naka-open and uh, kasi ang tigas na eh, di ba? So I, uh, I thought of this recipe para makapag-create pa tayo ng isa pang mas uh, special recipe out from your old bread. So uh, talaga namang ano, uh, abot kaya itong uh, recipe natin today. Ang very interesting, no? Kasi uh, magiging zero waste tayo sa, sa kitchen. So, uh, uh, yan. Welcome, welcome back to our kitchen. First of Let's cut our... Ito kasi part na ito ay matigas, no? So, tatanggalin natin yung pinaka balat niya. Okay? Kung kayo naman ay gagamit ng loaf, so pag matigas yung kanyang sides, pwede nyo i-cut. Alright? So, uh, kuha lang knife. Ang mahalaga yung knife natin ay... Uh, ano ba tawag dito? Matalin, no? Para maiwasan natin ang accident sa kitchen. Kasi madalas nakakahiwa yung mga mga koltelo or yung knife na uh, hindi matalim kasi masyado kang gumagamit ng uh, pressure and the uh, tendency is mas slide yung uh, yung uh, yung uh, knife no so very careful and kapag uh, matalim ang knife Hindi ka masyadong mag effort no? Just let the knife do the work. So, yan. Ngayon, binabalat lang ko yung ating bread. So, napakadali nito. Ito rin, uh, itong recipe na to ay natutunan ko dito sa Italy. And uh, it's actually a normal uh, recipe here kasi marami silang bread na nasasayang. So, I think I can apply this no? sa ating uh, cuisine. Lalo na yung mga Filipino ng aking mga kabayan. Alright, so tinanggal ko yung anyang yung naka-surface. So, anong niluto nyo today ngayon, guys, sa mga sa inyong family? Anong ginawa nyo ngayon Sunday? Alam nyo naman, ang uh, kitchen life Wala akong Sunday, uh, wala kaming uh, family day every Sunday. So, tomorrow will be my uh, day off. So, that's the time that I will have time with the, uh, my family, with my kids and my wife, no? every Mondays. So, I don't. So, itong part na ito, pwede nyo gawin. Pwede nyo rin siya i-blend and uh, makagawa kayo ng breadcrumbs, alright? But uh, for today, set aside ko siya muna. Para doon tayo magpunta sa aking recipe na gusto kong ibahagi sa inyo. Alright. Exciting. Thank you. Thank you so much. Not to the explorer. Wow. He's here today. Thank you so much. And uh, LME. Alright. Ngayon, cut natin yung ating bread into uh, cubes. Okay. Small cubes para madali natin siyang mai- Ma-i-blend, no? Para hindi mahirapan yung ating blender. Kasi baka pag malalaking pieces mo ilagay sa blender, baka masira yung blender, di ba? Unless yung, yung blender ay uh, heavy duty. Uh, well, while I'm doing this pala, nagdasaing ako. <laughs> okay? Kasi I think itong uh, recipe natin today is perfect din sa rice. No? Since uh, very easy nga and very affordable, I think masarap, masarap to. And gagawa tayo ng sweet and sour sauce na pwede i-partner dito. And especially, para magustuhan ng mga kids. Doon sa may mga kids. No? So, tiil lang natin siya. 
Hi to uh, Renzo Carl and Joyce G. Capacilio. Aita, thank you so much for always watching. I love you guys. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga sumusuporta sa aking channel. So, now, ayan, konti na lang. May blender natin. Mag-iingay tayo ng konti with our uh, blender. Kasi medyo matigas nga siya eh. So, all right. So, uh, blitz lang natin siya. Just be careful. Okay. <laughs> Ingay, ano? So, ito, hindi ko siya masyadong blend. Ayoko ko nang, uh, hindi natin kailangan nung uh, masyadong, uh, ano tawag dito, maninipis or uh, powdered na. So, ang uh, gusto ko yung uh, may crumbs pa siya. So, medyo may pieces pa siya ng bread, no? So, dahil uh, dry nga siya, okay ko siya dito. Okay. Lagay ako ng konti dyan sa isang bowl. And uh, dahil dry siya, guys, anong gagawin natin? Um, hold on. Medyo... Humihina yata yung aking signal. Yan. So, um, okay na ba yung correction? Medyo gumagal yata kanina. So, ayun. Dahil nga dry na siya, i-rehydrate natin siya with our milk. Okay? Ito yung secret weapon natin today na i-add natin dito sa bread para ma-rehydrate natin siya at lumambot ulit yung ating bread. Okay? Ito yung secret natin. Lalagyan natin siya ng konti. But first, um, lagay natin yung dry ingredients. Wala. So, uh, I'm gonna add some uh, salt and pepper. Alright. And then, meron ako dito ng uh, fresh parsley. Guys, uh, okay ba yung connection natin? Please uh, let me know kasi medyo mabagal yung aking uh, nare-receive sa uh, aking laptop. So I'm not sure kung uh, okay yung ating connection. Just let me know lang sa sa ating uh... Okay, so parsley. I'm gonna add some uh, mint. So feel free kung ano yung meron kayo sa bahay, kung ano yung available na the herbs. I am so sorry. I apologize with my uh, internet connection. I think it's it's quite slow today. So herbs, yun. Taglagay ako ng basil, mint, and parsley. Kung wala naman kayong basil and mint, okay lang yung parsley. All right? So, um, okay. And then I will add Parmesan cheese. Any cheese will do. Cheddar cheese, kung yun ang meron kayo sa bahay. I'm gonna add some more kasi masarap yung cheese, di ba? So, uh, <laughs> So, kung uh, anong trip nyo gamitin, Eden, di ba? Pwede rin yung gamitin so, sa Philippines. Queso. 
It's also good. So, gusto ko yung maraming cheese para mas malinam na, di ba? I'm trying to uh, mix our uh, bread crumbs and our herbs. So, ayan na siya. And now, I'm gonna add some uh, color. So, which is yung uh, paprika. Para lang medyo maging bright yung ating uh, bread later. Now, I'm going to add some uh, carrots. Right? Para healthy, di ba? So, uh, kung ipiprepare nito with kids, it's perfect. <laughs> I am not sure why it's quite slow to them. Very sorry about that. Okay, so um, um, it's um, disappointing, the, my connection. <laughs> so I think it's better now, no? Is it? Isn't it? Okay, so uh, paprika, carrots, parsley, chopped parsley, and uh, nag add ako ng salt and pepper and of course yung ating cheese. Nilagyan ko siya. Okay? So uh, I'm going to add some uh, bell peppers kung gusto nyo. Ito yung uh, tinatawag naming uh, frigitelli in uh, uh, Italy. Uh, but uh, you can use the normal bell pepper. Just make sure that uh, you will cut it into uh, cubes. It will add a very nice uh, earthy flavor to your uh, bread, okay? I love, I really love uh, bell peppers. So, so sigurado yung mga kids nyo magugustuhan to. Just cut it into cubes, small cubes. Nice and small. All right. So later, I will write the full recipe in the description box, okay? So don't worry about that. Now, it's time to pour our milk and rehydrate our... It's like magic, right? Eh, so ito yung pinaka secret weapon. Lagay natin. Let's make sure na mabasa natin yung... Uh, ating uh, bread, but not too much na hindi yung magsasabaw, ha? Kasi mahirapan tayo bumuo ng uh, pulpeta later. Or yung, uh, ano ba sa Tagalog yung Bola-bola. <laughs> so, yan. Lumalambot na yung bread. Sana na ma-feel nyo rin tong uh, ano ko. Kasi ang ano eh, it's uh, it's nice. Kasi bigla lumalambot siya. Sobrang tigas niya kanina. So I think, oh yes, uh, sabi ni Food Travel Crafts, it's fixed. Uh, sabi ni Isa, it's better na yung ating signal. Oh, thank God. So, uh, wow, lumambot na siya. Yeah, is kung gusto niyo maglagay ng uh, meat or bread or uh, tuna, yung canned tuna, it's perfect as well. But I, uh, I'm doing a simple, the simplest way. Kasi para at least may encourage natin yung ating kids na magkumain uh, ng vegetables. Alright? I'm gonna add just, just a little bit more of uh, milk. Where's the milk? Okay. Just a little bit because it needs some. And... Ang kulang na lang sa kanya, okay, na-rehydrate na natin siya, and uh, meron na siyang uh, spices. Ang kailangan na lang is yung magbabind, no? magbabind ulit dun sa ating bread. So, gagamit tayo ng 
Nandito pala sa harap ko. Yung ating eggs. Okay? So, two to three eggs will do. Crack lang tayo ng egg. Let's see if uh, two will be enough. So, tansya-tansya lang, guys. Wala nang uh, right measurement. Kasi, um, uh, tinatansya natin yung consistency kung uh, kailan tayo pwedeng makabuo ng pulpeta. So, di ba? Ang dali lang. So, pag medyo, kunyari, medyo basa, no? Medyo, ano ba tawag doon? Too much yung nailagay nyo. Kangkabahan, dagdagan nyo lang ulit ng ng bread para mahabol natin yung consistency na hinahanap natin. Kasi not too dry, not too wet. Okay, yun ang uh, perfect. And then, while uh, pinaprepare ko ito, I'm gonna heat up my pan, alright? I'm going to heat up my pan and then uh, painitin na natin yung ating mantika. So, hindi kailangan olive oil lamitin, kailangan lang ay uh, vegetable oil. Alright? So, lahat, it ng, uh, lahat tayo meron sa bahay na vegetable oil. So, I wanna show you guys. All right, that's how it is, how, how it looks like. So, any questions, guys? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook one more egg. Kasi sabi ko nga sa inyo, wala siyang tansya-tansya lang. No? Pagka ayaw mag-bind, dagdag lang ng eggs. Sa'yo magbabayan sa kanya. Good evening to Mads, Helen, and Vince. Buenas tera. Thank you so much for watching. Yan. Nice. I'm gonna try the taste. Kung uh, okay na ba siya. Uh -huh. Just need a little bit of salt and pepper. So don't forget to uh, always try, no? Yung niluluto nyo. Para laging balance. So yan, yeah, heat up tayo ng oil in the pan. Nice. This is uh, very delicious, guys. Trust me. Kasi uh, nung unang na-try ko ito, I couldn't believe it. But it's just bread. You know? Made from bread. Okay. Uh, Kaya ko sa stop asyendo, stop asyendo, uh, le polpeto di pan. Vince. Okay, hello to uh, Angie Dumapay. Last one, last egg. Kasi ano pa eh, hindi ko pa gusto yung uh, consistency. Too much bread. Okay. Yeah, nice. Yung, sa mam, yung mam ko, binabati ko kasi lagi nanonood yan. Every um, live cooking. Alright. So, pag mainit na siya, okay, kailangan, kailangan mainit na mainit yung ating mantika, no? So, I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Para laging malinis. So, uh, baka mayroong mga gusto mag-share ng kanilang ginagawa with the uh, leftover breads. Ano yung mga trick nyo? So, baka gusto nyo i-share sa comment section, no? Para may uh, malaman din ng ibang uh, ating mga viewers kung ano yung uh, inyong uh, tricks sa mga leftover bread. Oh, yeah. Uh, tama si Lone Wolf. Um, 
pudding, the bread pudding. Uh, it's, it's really nice as well with the leftover breads. But uh, this one, this one is um, savory, no? So uh, it's very interesting and uh, I, I'm sure na hindi pa masyadong uh, alam na nakararami ito. <laughs> and peach cobbler. Si Lone Wolf gumagawa ng bread pudding with peach cobblers. Nice. Or sabi ni Matanglawin, French toast. Also, it's also nice idea. Sabi ko sa inyo, with the milk, we rehydrate our uh, bread, leftover bread. I will start to fry, guys. With a spoon, you can just take it like that. So, fry lang natin siya, guys. Nice. I can smell the Parmesan cheese right now. And also the, the, the paprika, no? Yes, nice. So, cuando cocinare pollo, io messo uova, farina e pan grattato. Yes. So, uh, when you're doing uh, chicken cutlets, what I've said, ito, ito leftover na skin. Pwede nyo gawing uh, breadcrumbs as well. Spice nyo lang kung anong gusto nyo ilagay. And uh, pag magpa-fry kayo ng uh, chicken, right? Chicken cutlets, it's perfect. Para maging crunchy siya. And sabi ni Glyza Catalia, pizza dough po. Ah, she's making pizza dough from uh, leftover breads. It's also a nice idea. Great, great. Thank you so much guys for uh, sharing your ideas. And siyempre, mamaya gagawa tayo ng, ng sweet and sour sauce. So, siguro habang nagpiprito ako, mag-start na ako mag-slice ng ibang ingredients. So, uh, onion. Okay, kahit half onion lang. So, um, like this. Like, uh, julian will be fine. Julian cuts. And, uh, one clove of garlic, chop lang natin. Yes. Take off the peel. And let's chop. So, yeah. I'm going to check out our uh, pulpetta. A nice and brown color. Golden brown color. So, papakita ko sa inyo guys yung kanyang itsura mamaya while uh, frying. Kasi medyo malayo kayo eh. Hindi ko mailagay yung ating uh, camera. But, uh, ito siya. Can you see? Wow. It's disappointing this uh, connection. So, I'm so sorry. About my uh, internet connection. Okay, so uh, nagchop ako ng onion, garlic. Okay, and uh, magre-ready ako ng uh, a little bit of uh, tomato sauce. Okay, and oyster sauce. And some uh, soy sauce. No? Ito gagamitin natin mamaya. Hi to Paolo, Chef Paolo. So, uh, while nagpiprito tayo, gagawa na ako ng sauce. So, a little bit of oil. Then, lagay na natin yung ating um, uh, how do you call this? Garlic and uh, onion. 
So, tay lang natin siya. Alright. So, tay lang natin siya hanggang sa maging uh, medyo golden brown yung ating uh, onion and garlic. So, pag naging translucent na yung ating onion, tsaka natin ilalagay yung at a little bit of uh, tomato sauce. Good morning to uh, Eunice Gutierrez. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much na to. Okay, lalagay ko na itong ating okay, just a little bit and uh, let's put our tomato sauce. Half, uh, half liter. Okay, so set aside ko itong ating uh, rice. Okay. Ngayon, pangukuloy natin yung ating tomato sauce. Okay? And, um, maglalagay ako ng 2 tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. Okay? 2 tablespoon of soy sauce para lalo maging malinam namin yung ating sauce. Alright. Now, I am going to add the oyster sauce. Sa mga nagsasabi, uh, last time gumamit ako ng uh, anchovies. Ano? So, it's one kind of uh, umami flavor no? na nag -e enhance ng ating dishes. So, kung sinasabi, pag wala tayong, uh, wala tayong uh, anchovies, pwede tayong gumamit ng patis and substitute ng oyster sauce. Okay? About uh, two tablespoons as well. Kasi mahilig din akong gumamit ng uh, oyster sauce, ha? Kayo ba guys, gumagamit kayo ng uh, oyster sauce? I'm going to put our, uh, I'm gonna set aside our uh, pulpeta or ating balls, ating bread. Kasi medyo luto na siya. Wow. It looks very delicious. Okay. So, ito na siya. I will cook our sauce. Then, I'm gonna add some sugar. Pag nag-boil na yung ating uh, tomato sauce, soy sauce, and oyster sauce, Let's add some sugar. Okay? And pala, uh, bago ko makalimutan, mag add ako ng a little bit of vinegar. Kasi, uh, okay, 2-3 two, two, tablespoon. But, kailangan bago natin haluin, ano yung ating uh, sinasabi sa Pilipinas, kailangan uh, lutuin mo natin yung suka bago natin haluin, no? Para hindi siya mahilaw. So, I'm not sure. Hindi ako expert kung uh, talagang uh, totoo yun. But I follow that uh, myth, no? Na pagka daw kasi hinalo agad, what? Uh, mahihilaw yung inyong uh, suka. So, uh, pagka nag-evaporate na yung uh, kanyang acid, tsaka tayo ngayon maglalagay ng uh, brown sugar. Nice. And of course, syempre mag tayo ng salt and pepper. Aantayin lang natin yung consistency na gusto natin kasi yung medyo uh, thicker yung consistency para parang glaze siya, di ba? Yung ginawa natin last time, yung soy glaze. So, um... Hi to Joyji and Crystalline Apura. Okay, ito yung ating bread na sinasabi ko. Diba? Wow! 
Sarap. Hindi <laughs> na ako mapagantay. But syempre, magpa-play tayo mamaya. So, uh, ipapares ko siya with some uh, rice. Kasi hindi pwedeng kainin natin na ito lang, di ba? So, ganun kadali yung uh, sauce natin. Pag naging thick na siya, and uh, hanapin mo lang yung, uh, yung, gusto, yung uh, lasa na um, sweet and sour. So, kailangan nag-aagaw yung tamis, asim, and then yung uh, saltiness and yung linamnam na nanggagaling sa uh, oyster sauce and the soy sauce na ginamit natin. So, I'm gonna off this one. Yes, so si Vince, ang kisin sa salsa, va bene. So, even without the sauce, it's already very tasty. Okay. Now, let's plate our dish. Magamit ako nito. So, uh, I think uh, i-focus uh, ko kayo dito para maganda yung Okay, dito siguro is better. Okay. So, um, yan. Ang bagal ng internet. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm quite disappointed right now with my connection. So, hindi nakisama. I'm gonna put our rice. Hi to Wenski. And, o oh, kahit bread lang daw si Maria, Grefal Gale, uh, okay na. <laughs> so, yung ating bread, ayun yung nahanap natin color. Okay. So, lagyan natin ng five bread. Wow! Ako lang kakain nito, guys. Yes. So, uh, now, I'm going to add our uh, sauce. So, let's glaze our sauce on top para ano yun, uh, malakuha yung lasa niya. Wow. Look at that, guys. Wow. And um, uh, I think I'm going to add some uh, fresh herbs for our presentation. So ito na yung ating... Oh, nalaglag. <laughs> so nalaglag yung ating uh, pulpeta. Okay. So, ito na yung ating from leftover nakagawa tayo ng isa pang special recipe which is yung ating polpeta di pane with sweet and sour sauce. I hope you like it, guys. So, tinapay lang, sapat na. <laughs> Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga nagpunta today and uh, nanood. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, please, please don't forget to support our, my channel, share my recipes, 
para marami pa tayong matulungan and uh, I will try to go live every single day para makatulong and makapag-share ng bagong knowledge sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po. This is Chef Morris and don't forget to uh, don't forget to support my uh, Facebook page and uh, Instagram and sa ating food community. Please join my food community. It's called All About Food. Post nyo lahat ng gusto nyo i-post doon about food and uh, maraming maraming salamat. And I will see you guys soon. I will sign off right now. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hindi pala natin natikman yung ating yung ating dish today, syempre. So, mabilisan lang. Mmm. Super sarap. So, hindi mo, hindi mo, ma, hindi mo, ano ba tawag doon? Akalain na makapag-produce ka pa ng isang pang napakasarap na dish from sa bread na itatapon mo na. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Please try this at home. Bye! Happy cooking and blessed Sunday.